Hey all, Sam Berger here from the 405th Infantry Division, the Replica Prop Forum and Overclockers Australia. Um, just uh, giving you a look at how the repulses are now uh, almost finished. Um, as far as the, the unit itself is concerned, not necessarily the control of it. Uh, so here's the hole where it's got to go and cover up this mess that I've hacked at and got rid of the old thing. Um, what I've got there is the nano unit, the LED, and um, a, a little reservoir on the back, all sealed in there. And I've got three screws, little M2 screws, indexed at 120 degrees apart, and a plate to cover the back. Um, not only will it secure everything in there, uh, even though that that's uh, done with Celastic, it's all set now. Um, this plate will sandwich uh, the glove We'll go on the back of the glove under there with uh, the unit on top and I'll sandwich that in and squash it down. So I've got three mil foam here and I'll squash it down to about one mil so it'll be nice and firm um, and locate it without tearing. Coming up I've got some line here. This tubing is actually used in cryogenic chambers to um, seal wires uh, because even though wires have rubber seals on them or plastic seals on them, uh, they can't be guaranteed to um, insulate so that's why they place the wires inside this stuff. Um, the original bottle I got with the nano mister I've turned that into the reservoir which I'll be securing in the upper arm somewhere and that'll be gravity fed down. Uh, once the line's full and all the air bubbles are gone hopefully the nano unit should just suck that water through. So anyway there you have it. Sandbagger out.